Okay guys, so we're playing uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City on the original PS2 Fat. Let me show you guys the system. I uh, recently picked this one up. It works fine. There was some kind of issue with my old uh, PS2 Slim. But the main thing I'm really trying to discuss in this video is uh, the way the game looks with component cables. So. The component cable upgrade is one of the best video type upgrades you can make to the PlayStation 2. Um, originally it had a standard um, video cables that were bundled with it. Um, so here I made the upgrade to these component cables and here's a picture of what they look like. I basically purchased them on eBay. You can get them on Amazon. They're about five, six bucks. Um, they are gold plated. Uh, don't know about the actual gold content, but uh, they do seem gold colored But I did play this uh, game previously and uh, You know while I was reminiscing to see what it looked like it was actually almost unplayable with the standard cables that were included uh, with the PlayStation 2 so the component has the the red green and uh, blue typed uh, connector uh, so these are uh, the original cables that came with a PlayStation 2. Uh, the only video cable here is this yellow one. So you're basically transmitting the whole uh, signal, the whole video signal through this one cable, and you have these two uh, audio cables. So the upgrade to the component cables, as I showed you guys before, uh, gives you separate uh, color inputs right here. You have the red, green, blue, and obviously your uh, red and white for the audio. Alright, so here's a couple more shots with the component cables. Um, of course, there's a little bit of a frame rate type of thing uh, going on. But I gotta say, the way the trees look, you could actually see the separate palm leaves on some of the trees. In terms of the distance, it's not that bad. Uh, the draw rate of the system is not horrible for a PlayStation 2. But even in this kind of output, which we're using component, we're still at 480. Uh, resolution which uh, for this game is is I think the highest resolution you can get a lot of the older systems mainly the GameCube even the Dreamcast uh, were capable of 1080i uh, from what I understand the architecture of the PS2 whether it's the slim or the fat is capable of 1080i but for some reason almost all the games play in 480 if you are uh, using a component cable which really isn't isn't the end of the world um, it looks okay for such an old system so before we look uh, to see what the other cables are going to look like, I just uh, want to point a little bit something weird out about this game. And if anybody knows, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. There seem to be uh, just random newspapers everywhere. So anywhere you look, there's basically newspapers. You see there's some just basically all over the street scattered. I don't know what the reason of that is. Uh, you can't, you don't, you cannot seem to pick them up or do anything with them. But there's just a lot of newspapers everywhere. This is what the TV looks like when you load a game with the standard original PlayStation 2 cables. You could tell it did not display 480i. Alright guys, so we got the original cables hooked up now. We're playing the same exact game, Grand Theft Auto Vice City on the PS2 original, the fat model. And you saw how it loaded. It didn't even say it was 480i. Okay, so we got the same game here again uh, with the standard original PS2 cables. Uh, if you guys can take a look, some of the stuff I notice is the car itself seems much rougher around the edges. The actual palm trees, uh, the way I'm seeing it, I'm having a hard time differentiating the actual leaves themselves. The people also, you could see this woman right here on the left, you can barely even make her face out. You, you can obviously make out the fact that she's a person. Uh, and she's wearing looks like some kind of beach attire But that's about all you can do even these people walking in the background there They all seem to kind of blend together on this screen now Of course, maybe when this game was new and it was played on an older style television not an HD TV uh, And a, not such a widescreen format it might have seemed better But in this case it, it is kind of hard to play even looking at the distance It's kind of hard for me to discern any of the elements so you know it is my opinion that um, definitely 
getting the component cable inputs for the PS2 is the best upgrade you can do. And uh, in case you guys don't know, you can use the original cables bundled with the PS3. They were component cables. So the ones that I purchased here are PS2 and PS3 compatible. So it's a great uh, cheap investment you can make to really increase the image quality of this old system if you want to keep some of your old games up and running.